Hello again, everybody. This is your favorite YouTuber, Mr. NoobTube Gamer, and I am here to review yet another shitty game by Valve. Even though pretty much all the Valve games are shitty, but that's besides the point. Left 4 Dead 2 on the PC. The game was also released on the Xbox 360, but I decided to review the PC version, considering that, well, those community maps were put on the main game for free, and they were charged as DLC for the 360, which has nothing to do with the quality of the consoles, but more to do with Valve's greediness. Uh, you know, they just want to incentivize you to play on the PC version instead. But any way you slice it, it's a shitty version. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, in terms of uh, comparison to the uh, 360 version, it's virtually the same game, right? Uh, but, it's just, both versions are shitty quality, and the PC version is shitty too, because the community is horrible, right? So, honestly, uh, the reason why you're going to see single player uh, gameplay instead of uh, online, which is the reason why people play that game... Is because, well, every time I play online, you have these little annoying squeakers. And I love how people say that PC gamers aren't squeakers. There are no such thing as squeakers in PC games. Play a game of Left 4 Dead 2 or play a game of TF2 or Counter-Strike. There will be squeakers. And I think there actually were squeakers on my game recordings for those other reviews just to prove it to you guys. But, yeah, the community isn't any better on PC. And that's just a fact. PC gamers aren't more civilized. They're communists. But, regardless, Left 4 Dead focuses around co-op, right? You know, it, work, it focuses on teamwork. Pretty much, uh, that, that's a main uh, thing that keeps repeating among all Valve games, teamwork. You know, Team Fortress 2 is supposed to be revolved around teamwork. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 is revolved around teamwork. And um, I guess Counter-Strike is as well. So all these Valve games, with the exception of Portal, I guess have to do, you know, with teamwork. And honestly, I will say, I will give it I will give it to them since I'm a fair person and I'm a very objective reviewer. I will say that the version uh the, that the way that they have it, okay? Uh with the way the teamwork is set up is done fairly, okay? I will admit that it gets forced upon you a lot of times and if you don't do a speed run like all these assholes that are on your team, try to do, then they vote kick you, and, you know, that's why the community really sucks on PC. But I will admit that if you play with your friends, you will have a very good time. You will. But if you're with random assholes, you're not going to have a good time. It's just the truth. Especially versus mode. Versus mode is just a, a shit show. But let me talk into the main, main, main problem. First of all, repetitiveness. It's a main factor. Now, people are going to do their little detective work on my Steam, say, well, you have 60 hours, so how is it repetitive? You obviously put a lot of hours into it. Listen. Okay, listen, listen, listen. It is very repetitive because, first of all, you're doing the same thing over and over again. There's really, it's not a new experience any, every time you play the same map. So, again, people might be asking, well, why do you do it? Well, look back at my Destiny review I made three months ago. And you'll see that, yeah, I do have a lot of hours. I know PS4 doesn't count hours, specifically. Uh, I know Grand Theft Auto does, but, uh, on the PS4, but Destiny doesn't really count the amount of hours you're playing. Uh, I know in GTA I have a total of two days. Uh, so that's a lot of time, and I'm pretty sure I have a good amount of time on Destiny. Probably, if I make a guess, I'd say maybe 50 hours or, you know, something along that ballpark or you know, 70 hours, something, like, probably a little bit higher than I have Left 4 Dead 2. So, just because, oh yeah, in my review of Destiny, I said I don't like the game, but I had friends to play with, and that's why I played Left 4 Dead 2 for a lot of time, because I had friends to play with. That doesn't mean that Left 4 Dead 2 is a good game. You can have fun with your friends in a game, that doesn't mean it's necessarily good. Look at Saints Row 3 and 4. The co-op is fun, but does that really necessarily mean the game is good when the single player is horrible and the storyline is horrible? And that's the main thing that goes with these games. You know, with with uh, Destiny and Counter-Strike, and not Counter-Strike, uh, you know, Left 4 Dead. So, honestly, besides the fact that Left 4 Dead 2 was only released a year after... Uh, the first one is virtually the same exact game. 
Uh, and people like to say Call of Duty is the same game every year. <laughs> it's funny and hypocritical at the same time. But regardless, I'm not going to say that Left 4 Dead 2 doesn't have a fun factor. I will say it sucks, though. It mainly sucks because there's nothing to do. You know, it, it, there's no rep there's no actual, like, full-fledged gaming experience. It's more like, you know, it's like an experience when you play a game, like, when, you know, back in the day when they had the game arcades. That's the kind of experience you had. It's, like, not something you'd really do, uh, like, that makes you want to come back to the arcade, but it's something you did do a lot of times. Like, you did keep playing, putting the tokens in all the time. It's something like that. I don't know if you guys understand my analogy, but it doesn't matter. I digress. I'm going to give the game a D-, minus. okay? Uh, a little bit higher. You know, I gave an F for Team Fortress 2, and I gave an F- minus for Counter-Strike. So it's a little higher. It's probably the best game Valve has ever produced, but what does that say? Uh, so yeah, that's my review for Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, stay tuned for my next review, which I believe is going to be on League of Legends. I think it's going to be League, and then it's going to be Dota, and then Insurgency, and then Arma 3. Uh, any other PC games I'll, you know, destroy, but as of now, that's going to be my current schedule. Any suggestions for PC games that you want me to review, or PC versions, uh, let me know. Uh, you know, it's very fun spending all these months destroying PC gaming, the cancer of PC gaming, and it's very fun. It's very fun, but, you know, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.